Welcome to Heftor Edition. So in this video we're looking at installing XFCE. Um, so the in install process is the same for BSP Window Manager and also for uh, Herbsloft Window Manager. So, But we're installing XFCE and we'll go through the install process and see how we go. So we'll just let it start up and do its thing. I'm uh, installing this in a virtual box. So we'll be able to record and see everything we do step by step along the way. So it's almost booted up. Uh, once we install it, uh, we'll boot up into our new environment and from there we'll uh, yeah, go ahead and add the uh, test repo for people to see. Still got a black screen at the moment, so just waiting for it to boot up. I've only gave it um, four cores, so might be a little bit slow while I'm recording. Also, with my computer, there's a bit of a strain on it. There we go, so we're booted up into the environment. The first thing we want to do once Calamari starts, what we want to do is, because I've already got an uh, installation on this virtual machine, uh, the safest way to do it would be to uh, right click on the desktop and you want to go down to applications. Then from applications you want to go to settings and then from in settings you want to go to departed. There it is. And you want to wipe Gparted completely clean like a store-bought hard drive. So we'll just apply those settings. Yep, alright, so we've got a nice clean hard drive to start with. So that way we, whatever file system we choose or whatever we want to do, we're not going to um, have any problems with installation. So right here, now I'm just going to use the uh, kernel that ships with the um, ISO and then update it once it's um, once I'm booted into the new system. So I don't need to worry about any of these. I don't have an NVIDIA card or anything like that, so I don't have to worry about any of them. Uh, Intel U code and AMD U code, I really don't know much about them or what they're about. and not really interested in finding out. I don't need them, so I don't bother with them. Um, in development, I want to install VS Code. So I just click the arrow to expand the development uh, category. I don't need anything else from there. Uh, internet apps, so I want Discord and Telegram. Um, I might also want FileZilla and Qubit Torrent and evolution, don't want Dropbox, so I'll just ignore that. Browsers, well, I'll just use a uh, Brave browser that ships with the ISO, don't need anything else. Um, and WPS Office, yeah, I'll, I'll install that as well. So because I'm installing these apps, these require internet and I'm connected to the internet, so I don't have to worry about anything to do with that. Um, but the install process is actually going to take a little bit longer because of that, so, um, yeah, what did I skip past? Oh, keyboard, don't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to choose erase disk, I don't need swap. I'm on a virtual machine, so that's all I need. So, VBox for my username, and I'll just do 123 for the password, automatic login, so same password as it did so I just use tab and space to select those and here we go so now we'll install so the installation process takes quite a long time so I'll pause this video and um, I'll come back uh, part way through the install So now that we're past the uh, initial um, loading of all the or installing of the actual operating system, 
going to be configuring some of the locales and then we're going to go through and create the users. Yeah, here we go. So we're creating the users now and now it's going to start installing some of the packages. Once it gets past the initial install of the uh, packages that ship with the uh, ISO, it'll install the network packages that we selected in the uh, install process. Uh, we're back, we're past the installation of the packages phase finally, so that took quite a while. Mainly because we're installing WPS Office, that's what takes most of the time anyway. And yeah, we should be finished in a couple of seconds hopefully. Once it does its configurations. Oh no, this is the part where it installs the... Uh, network packages I think so, yeah this is where it's going to take the most time so I'll pause the video again and I'll come back once it's done and we're back so now we're just installing the bootloader and it'll be complete finally there we go so because I'm on VirtualBox, I'll just untick the restart and I'll go done and let it complete its finalization. So then we'll just do shutdown. I'll launch my VBox again. Running a bit slow at the moment, I got some memory going. And so I'll just remove the installation media and boot up. Here we go. Nope, don't want that. Now we're going to boot into our newly installed environment so the first thing I'm going to do is probably set my wallpaper while I'm updating and yeah no I won't bother with an update actually I'll wait until after after I've added my repo <clears throat> And then we're booted into our new environment. First thing I'll do is go to my menu. While oh, it's still loading, probably not a good idea doing that, but still. Actually, I'll right click and go desktop. Now that I'm in here, it lists all the wallpapers in the F2 Linux directory. Oh, I just saw the one that I want down here somewhere there it is set that what I'll do first is search Mac OS Mac then Heftor Linux Mac theme, there we go. Oh, Heftor Mac theme. So we'll do pins. Heftor Mac. Install that. So we can get back to the light theme again. So once that's done. All right, so now we'll just go to appearance. Window manager. So we want Mac, so that's M down here. So we go Mac X-Force, FC, sorry.
Mac XFCE. Yeah, we've got our light theme back. Beautiful. Now, open up Sublime Text. We'll go open file. The other locations, computer, etc. Like Pac-Man. Go Pac-Man conf. Go to the bottom, and I'm going to do it the safe way. So just copy and paste the existing repo, and just put test. Test dash for the repo. That's it. Do sudo pacman dash syy. Oops, the way around. So this is just going to refresh the. Uh, uh, repo databases and also uh, collect all the information needed for the test repo that we've just added. So once that's added I'll install um, Arco Linux tweak tool. That's done. So now I'll do search for tweak tool. There we go, Arco Linux Tweak Tool Git. Yep, got everything right. <clears throat> we'll just install that. Awesome. We want to go to settings and it should be there. There we go. Now we've got the Arco Linux tweak tool. So I'm still constructing everything with the tweak tool. So this um, ain't really working 100% right now. But um, yeah, we've got some changes to make with it at the moment. Like the latest release um, on the Arco Linux testing repo doesn't have this uh, border here. Got like the preview windows not there at the moment. If you go to image backend, there it is, and yeah, so. That's the installation process and uh, should be easily applied whichever um, flavor of Heftor, uh, Heftor edition that you're um, doing. So yeah, hopefully this was informative and uh, thanks for watching.